Today uh, is my special installment for Free Agent Underground. I'm talking with Zig Ziglar. Do you believe your calling, your personal calling, your purpose was as a teacher? Uh, it was a, I, I never thought about it as a teacher, but as an encourager. Okay. I believe with all my heart that we should always be thinking about how this, what I'm teaching, will impact other people in a positive way and their families. That's the way you really learn to do the right thing in the right way and become infinitely more successful. So you shared that it was during your time of doing sales, which you do enjoy, you do believe in, uh, but it was during that time that you saw somebody speak. You were in the audience, somebody spoke, yeah. and you said, share, yeah. and, and I have never seen anybody have so much fun and do so much good, and I'm telling you, that was the most excited man I'd ever laid eyes on, mm -hmm. Bob Bale. Okay. And man, when I heard him speak I, that night, uh, I cornered him after it was all over and talked to him and asked him how I could do what he was doing. Right. And he was kind enough to spend a couple of hours with me. We had dinner, and uh, I'm telling you, it made a huge difference. That's when I decided I was going to make my living for the rest of my life teaching other people how to be more successful. Did you ever spend time working at something that did not inspire you personally? No. I really didn't. Uh, sometimes I would work on a job just a little bit because we were broke and needed the money at sure. that point. But I never made a decision to work with something that I could not really follow through over and over and over and over. And I always insisted on doing the right thing. I never sold a product that I did not use myself. Mm -hmm. In uh, seeking out just what it is that God made for you to do. So as you see people who you see a unique calling, uh, you believe in a unique calling for each of them, do you think that they can live that out uh, doing any type of employment if it fits their skills and abilities? With certain uh, acknowledgments that everybody can't be successful in the same thing, but you should never accept a job that requires you to diminish and not do the right thing in your own mind. Always do the right thing. Always be exciting. Always be encouraging. Always learning something new. I think those are just things that people need you to do. Come back to courage, encouragement over and over. So in the workplace, no matter if we are selling uh, Frisbees or financial services or leather bags from Saddleback Leather Company, whatever it is, that we should be using that as a platform to encourage others. Oh, absolutely. You also come back over and over in, talking about the workplace and in life in general to finding help from others. You shared that for you, we just went and witnessed your hall of fame, yeah. the people that you give credit to for having helped you along, and yet we have a society that generally is trying to go it alone. Yeah. It's kind of the American ideal yeah. that you bootstrap it, you do it yourself, and yet here you are, the person that we all look to as a, a global mentor, and you say, it's on the backs of other people. I would yeah. follow what they had said and it worked. I would always go back to them and say, you know, it worked just like you said it would. Thank you so much. I'm gonna keep doing it. Do you believe he specifically gifted each of us uniquely to offer something that only we can offer? Uh, I believe with all my heart that God don't make no junk, as I've already said. I don't believe that anybody is created to fail. I believe they're created to have a good life and help other people in the process. Is it important to you today? You have, uh, how many books have you written now? I believe it's 27. 27. Yeah. And of course, you have a mul uh, multitude of products yeah. uh, that you sell. You have a business here. You have built something that's going to continue. It's going to bless other people, but it's also going to bless people like your uh, children that's right. that work with you. Has that been important to you to see that you're oh, building something? Is it ever important? I think the home court advantage is the purpose where you can do all of the things that you want to do that will help them yeah. and keep it going. That's what I'm talking about. 
Uh, I've never been a job jumper. I've never been anything but busy what I was doing at that particular time. And I have seldom changed my mind yeah. or changed my career. Yeah. How important has it been to have your wife's support and encouragement? It's been the greatest blessing I have, have ever had. Could you have done what you do, what you've done, what you've accomplished without her being 110% behind you? Absolutely not. I think I could still make a little living, but I would not have the reputation, I would not have the benefits, I would not have the fun, I would have not had virtually anything because we work together really well. Mm -hmm. And my son, as you might know, is the president of our company. My youngest daughter is the editor of my books. Things like that are, are very important to us because not only are they good at what they do, but I get to see them more often. <laughs> so self-employment for you was having freedom to be a good husband? Right. To be an engaged father? Absolutely. And to serve your Lord? Fully. Amen, absolutely. What's God working on Zig specifically today with? Right now, he is working on me to continue doing what I'm doing and keep on learning and keep on encouraging. I believe I've been under his orders for a long time now, yeah. and I intend to stay. I would say always remember that when you're working with others, when you can encourage them to do the right thing in the right way, not only will you help them, but you will have just made a friend mm. that will tell everybody what you did for them. Mm. I believe that's the best way to get it done. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much well, thank for you having so us much. and for the time. Yeah.